Come on, man, get in. Oh, it's easier on this side, but man, why? <laughs> All right, my guys, quick update today. I hope you guys are doing good out there, man. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, talk about uh, some weight reduction in these Ace 550 Mustangs. Kind of low down on that. A question was brought up a few days ago by one of my buddies, uh, and he asked me about weight reduction. We started getting into it, and uh, it was a good conversation. So I want to get that to you guys, and and also an update on my turbos, man. I'm 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 there, man. I'm just a few weeks away now. Uh, some good things happened, so. I'll let you guys know on that and maybe a little bit more detail on what exactly I'm getting with the turbo as far as fuel systems and boost controllers and all that stuff. So yeah, man, stay tuned. I went on a little trip with El Wayno and then uh, let's get to this. those turbos fuel system my boost controller everything wait oh. i don't want to leave anything all when i got the turbos but i gotta wait a month right to get this, you know quick little blast with El Wayno where we were trying to make a TikTok. We actually been on that for like the past two weeks, hitting those little TikToks hard. So that's why you haven't seen me post as much. But getting to this weight reduction, right? From my understanding, these Mustangs were about 38 to 3,900 factory, uh, depending on what trim you got, right? What model, uh, fully loaded. I know the Recaro seats might have been a little lighter uh, or maybe not uh, of the added stuff they had on there, but the, the seats weren't uh, motor or whatever. But for the most part, you can account that when you buy a Mustang S550, it's going to be about 38 to about 4,000 pounds factory, right? So right to it, this Mustang right now, as it sits right now, the way you see it, and I'll explain what I've done with it. I still got my seat in here. With the seat and the nitrous system and stuff, I got car weighs 3,550 pounds. All right, so say 3,850, five, six, seven, eight, that's 300 pounds. I was able to shed off uh, with a budget still in mind, right? Uh, obviously, you can go and you can get uh, the hood. That's like another eight pounds, I believe, if you get a carbon fiber hood. You can get the doors, which is a big one. Right, another 10, about 12 pounds on each side. I don't I forget the, the glass, Lexon, and all that stuff, whatever. I kind of went the route where I'm going to try to trim as much as I can down with not as much money, with a budget. And then once I trim all the way down, then I'm going to go on boost, which is the turbo, which I'll talk to you after, just briefly after this. So in order to get yourself a S550 GT, this is a 6R80. Mustang to get it down from that 3,900 ish pound to about the 3,500s. Uh, I'll tell you what it is. So first, what I did do is I removed the front sway bar. Front sway bar is out of this car, along with the mounts and all that stuff that comes with the front end sway bar. Front end links gone. Okay, I have the AC gone and its belt and its components and as much lines as I can going into the engine bit into the cabin. Gone. Right. So that right there was easy 50 pounds right there. That was 50 pounds right there. I don't know the exact math, didn't weigh it, but I'm guesstimating it's about 50 pounds. The next thing I did is when I had my fuel cell here for the nitrous system, now that it's off, anticipating the turbos, hopefully soon, 
the battery went to the back. I did go a bigger battery, went optimal battery. <laughs> Tank's still in there. Battery's back here now, which is fine because I moved away from front to the back where we know in these uh, rear wheel uh, drive cars, we kind of need a little bit more in the back. It's typically it's gonna be heavy in the front, <laughs> okay? And then, okay, so that's the front. That's pretty much it. I still have my shred tire brace, which maybe I eventually take off. The turbos are all gonna be here. So I probably won't need to interrupt that. But that's all I do in the front. And then alongside, my drag wheels here which as you can tell they're very very thin uh that's way way lighter compared to stock wheels which is the stock ones are here which is a lot thicker i don't know if you can see now you can't see but get yourself some drag wheels i'm gonna need them anyway some skinny that's gonna shed a bunch of weight right there right and then you go back here and then obviously i got my drag wheels here these are 17 inch wheels there okay and then into the front like i said ac is removed but the heater's still in there originally i was going to take off all these door panels all this stuff here but i'm trying to get into street clash racing down at the drag strip and a lot of those classes require stock doors uh panels on there uh original windows not all of them but for the most of what i've seen what i'm trying to get into they do so i left those on those are still on there each one of these seats right here is about 60 pounds this one's on there but it will be taken off by track day so that will put me to about 3500 even maybe even a little lower but the way it sits now is 3550 i do have a jags aluminum racing seat there that combined weighs about 25 pounds 25 to 30 pounds compared to 60 and then this one will be removed that's right there customize my own brackets there <laughs> brackets are going to run you uh they're going to run you some ways i think the city itself is about 15 pounds and brackets and boats it's about 30 pounds 25 30 pounds okay uh and then that panel is off right now it looks like that but that's going to be put back in i got some wires running back there that i want to hide another one that i did do that's surprising guys that you want to lose weight is change the carpet i still got to put my carpet up and glue it on there so don't you know judge me but uh this car my original carpet weighed about 40 pounds guys that thing is heavy no and it was about 35 but i got a lightweight carpet now i think uh per i forgot how much square feet was about a pound something this carpet weighs about 10 pounds total compared to about 35 40 pounds man huge huge difference and i got it long enough so i can cover up this hole here because i do have a rear seat delete and if you clean it up nice and which will probably be another video when i clean it up and glue it on haven't done yet because I know I'm going to have to take this off and I still got to remove all that sound dinner, which is a sound dinner on this car. I believe is going to be easy, like 15, 20 pounds. And you remove that with ice, dry ice, which will be another video later. But sound dinner still needs to go off. That's the reason why I haven't glued this on. But that's uh, that will be another knockoff in weight. And remember, carpet, man, it's, it's cheap. I bought this on eBay. I literally for under 50 bucks and I got carpet to cover up my whole car. I do have my my back speakers off, panels off. That was easy, another 10 pounds. These front speakers here are still in there. Like I said, I'm not gonna really mess with the doors just yet. Okay. Back here, never came with a spare tire, but I relocated some weight back here. I do have my air system. If you do have an air system, it's not people always say no, it's just heavy, just heavy, just heavy. It's really not it's not as heavy as you think uh eventually yeah eventually i'm probably gonna go to some coilovers but right now man I've, I've seen cars hitting eight seconds man on airbags so don't be scared if you're scared of airbags don't be you get the look and you get the performance i got the right tech air suspension great airbags got nothing but good things to say about them in the back i still have my panel still have all this yeah you can lose about another five pounds there but like I said, I'm trying to do whatever I can with the budget wise to lose as much weight and then I'm gonna go boost. So that's pretty much it with the car, man. That kind of covers what I did, what cost the most in this weight reduction process here was the seat. The seat alone, I think cost me like a little under a hundred bucks or somewhere around there with the cover, another 40, something like that. But carpet was inexpensive. Deleting stuff, sway bars and stuff in there, free, cause you can do it yourself. 
the dry ice would it cost me whatever it's going to be in a spec to remove another 20 pounds it's going to be well worth it so i try to do as much as i could i guess uh with the budget wise before having to buy a carbon fiber door i would rather spend that money in my turbo which i am uh before i get a carbon fiber hood which i'd rather spend that money in the in a boost controller uh a trunk uh the carbon fiber looks super dope but i'd rather like i said rather put that money into a fuel system right so i'm gonna be around 3500 pounds when it's done closer to the 3500 uh once i remove the sound then there are little other little things that i want to take off uh before i put in the turbo obviously yes the turbo is going to add me some more weight oh and another one guys i forgot to mention that i don't know how much willing you guys are willing to do but i have the straight stock manifold cats deleted and then they dump to about right here if you want to see how i did that check out my video of the mustang s550 mustang gt gets cherry bomb that reduced a lot a lot of weight i had a full Corsa exhaust and you'd be surprised how much that weighs uh if you're really serious about losing weight bam that's probably something that i recommend running a very very short exhaust system so that all right there will get you to about 3500 pounds 35 to 3600 pounds which is a significant decrease from stock and for minimal uh for minimal cost right uh for a budget so that is, I guess, a quick overview on that. Uh, if you got any comments, go ahead and message me and let's get into these turbos. All right, guys, if you guys made it this far, thank you. You guys shown interest in the build. Uh, I said briefly in my last video when I was kind of recording with my buddy that I'm gonna go with the on three twin turbo top mounted setup, which will go about right here. Uh, the main reason, I'm getting into those to be quite honest with you i wouldn't be i don't want to lie to you guys is it's cost effective for me uh and then not only just because of that uh i could grind a little longer and uh and save up like i was looking at that sleeper kit by helion uh but what i've learning what i'm learning about turbos is is they can be upgraded i don't want to say easily but they can be upgraded from a month to the next, right? So I'm gonna start off with the 61 millimeter turbo, twin turbo setup by On3. It's gonna, I'm gonna get the works with it. I'm gonna get the, the, the exhaust manifold it comes with and the, the ball bearing one, the, the kit. I'm gonna get the works with that. And then the reason why it's taking a little longer is because I'm, I'm saving up also to get my fuel system with it, to get a boost controller with it, <laughs> to get uh, the the oil pump gears with it, all the little things that I know are gonna come up, uh, I'm trying to get it on now. So once I get everything, get to work and put it in there, get tuned <laughs> by Lund, and hopefully right off the bat, bam, be in the 700 horsepower range with some E85. I don't see why that wouldn't be possible with the weight reduction that I've done. I got my aluminum drive shaft, transmission still in good shape, block still in good shape. I'm running like that, going to some street car class racing and go from there. So that's the plan right there. The goal is get that turbo kit, get it installed. Obviously there's always gonna be something that I'm gonna need to work out. So that's why I got the car just sitting here. Nothing's in there. Get it in there, put it in there. Hopefully be high uh, in, in the good seven hopefully in the mid 700 and right away get into some street car class racing and and go from there man uh i've been talking about it obviously for like almost a year now i want to compete i want to compete i want to compete and now is the time to do it man obviously i'm still looking at that that bottom dollar seeing obviously i can't spend everything i have but i'm, I'm doing what i can budget wise but also not compromising too much on performance and the way i see it get those turbo kits set, which I can do that on three, run it. And in the meanwhile, already thinking, okay, about when this motor goes or when it's time to upgrade, uh, which turbos I'm gonna go with that system, maybe bigger or leave the same, just upgrade on uh, the internals, go up higher in the boost. Who knows, uh, who knows? But I am definitely thinking about it. I think that's the best 
uh, route for me at the moment because by me getting this on three system, uh, I should be back on the road for sure come next year as soon as the season starts, February, March, which around, around over here is around March when the track starts opening back up. Uh, and I should be well ready for that turbos installed car is tuned. I tested it and now it's time to hit the Hit the track and go from there, man. But other than that, man, I'm super stoked I'm gonna definitely bring you along bring you guys along the ride When when I get them, it's gonna be very very soon, man I'm working on it extremely hard to get everything I need from the turbo kit to the fuel system to the boost controller to whatever so, man, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys very, very soon.